Pope drew the attention of other people who were themselves trying to determine the causes of all those UFO sightings. Malcolm Robinson spent a long time interviewing people and collating his findings. And he found that most sightings had a perfectly rational explanation. Shooting stars, planets and commercial aircraft. 95% of all UFO reports of natural identifiable solutions. We're only talking about a small 5%, but that 5% it's mysterious, it's elusive, and we're trying to understand exactly what's going on. One of the theories Robinson analysed was that UFOs in Scotland might have had military origins. He pointed out that Scotland is dotted with American military bases, that the Highlands are known to be used for training Air Force pilots, and that the region is home to all four of the UK's nuclear subs. So Robinson went on to suggest that the UFOs people were seeing might have been misidentified stealth bombers, unusual planes that fly at the speed of sound and are designed to be undetectable by radar. It's well known that a lot of these UFO sightings coming from America were purely the results of the stealth aircraft. So what we have to bear in mind is that some of these 5% could be our own black budget technology, super stealth aircraft. But it turns out there's no evidence that stealth bombers have ever been stationed in Scotland. And Robinson now says that some of the sightings don't even resemble any sort of plane at all. These were low level, close proximity UFO reports. So close that you could almost throw a stone at. For Robinson, all this means there is just one possible explanation. He says that some of the sightings must be real alien spaceships. The object is there and then disappears. Completely disappears. It doesn't shoot up, it doesn't go down, it, it's not obscured by clouds or anything like that. Where does it go? Good question. Let's try and find out. Other people are convinced that the military remains the solution to the Scottish UFO hotspot phenomenon. People like this man, author Andrew Hennessy. He's got an incredible theory. He says that the military are in Scotland in far greater numbers than anyone could ever imagine, and that they are involved in an extraordinary alliance with extraterrestrials. What's more, he says all of this is going on in a network of caverns and tunnels under the feet of the people who live there. I believe that the United Kingdom is one of the most underground places on the planet and that particularly central Scotland. Central Scotland has got some of the most untalked about cavern systems on the planet. Caverns? Hennessy came to this remarkable conclusion when he noticed that across Scotland there were a large number of pylons, secret sites and fenced off areas. To anyone else, they'd have just been regular NATO bases. But for him, they were simply superficial signs of all that covert activity underground. On this hill near Bonnybridge, he says he has discovered an entrance to one of the tunnels. This is a fire exit on the southern approaches to one of the biggest command centres, probably in Western Europe. And if you're wondering what the aliens and the military are up to, you need wonder no longer. Extraterrestrials, he claims, live in a galaxy-wide empire, and the Earth is merely a marketplace. They've got a huge empire, and they, they operate a portal system. And I think some of that portal system is in West Lothian, very near Bonnie Bridge. According to Hennessy, aliens don't fly through space in the conventional sense. 
Instead, they use gateways between their galaxy and ours. And they can be found in important locations all over the planet. Like the one where he just happens to live. Some say that they time travel, that they go through interdimensional portals, that they come back and forth here. It may not sound like a plausible idea, but if by some unlikely chance it was true, it would explain why UFOs congregate in hotspots. So, if there is an alien gateway in Scotland, where is it? Let's run with the idea for a moment. First, let's take that map of the Falkirk Triangle. We've plotted all the sightings over the last 12 years. At first they seem random, scattered over 500 square miles. And some do appear to be near military bases. But 40 miles from Bonnybridge, there's another place where UFO sightings seem to congregate. A small town called Roslyn, in the southern corner of the Triangle. It's from here that some of the most detailed accounts have come, and one of the clearest photographs of what's said to be a UFO. One that Andrew Hennessy has used as evidence. That spaceship was photographed on the same night in the vicinity of Roslyn. Roslyn town is unremarkable at first glance. But there is one place in the town that is remarkable. Roslyn Chapel. Which just happens to be one of the most mysterious places in the whole of the world. Jim Munro is something of a local historian. Yeah, Roslyn's always been sacred. Probably one of the most sacred sites in Britain, if not in the world. We researched back several years ago, we got to the year 700 BC, where we found strong evidence of the Druids being here. It's also been the focus of some of the weirdest conspiracy theories going. So here's what we know for sure. The chapel was built in 1446 by William St. Clair, rumoured to be one of a spooky troop of Christians called the Knights Templar who were very rich and powerful, until the Pope excommunicated them, the spoil sport. It's since been claimed that the Templars had found the secret of eternal life. Strange idea. But not nearly as strange as the idea that has made Roslyn so famous recently. In his bestseller, The Da Vinci Code, Dan Brown claimed that Roslyn Chapel was where the Knights Templar buried the Holy Grail. All because they had found out the Vatican's darkest secret. That Christianity, um, wasn't true. Dan Brown wasn't the first to latch onto Roslyn's association with some very weird ideas. It's been like this for a very long time. For hundreds of years, people have been convinced that the chapel has secret messages in it, left by the knight who built it. Everything at Roslyn is marked, numbered and laid in place. Everything is there by design.